Today we have a terrible flower bed situation that we're going to totally redo and make great. I want to show you the process. I want to show you what it looks like before we start. I'm going to show you the work and then show you the finished product and show you how in just uh, a couple of hours, hopefully, we can turn this thing around and, and go from a terrible flower bed to a, a beautiful flower bed. Also got a overgrown edge where the sidewalk has a bit of edge and we'll try to clean that up and make that look nice and crisp for you let's get started so here's the situation this flower bed is a jungle okay and this is a relative of mine and he's not able to take care of it like it properly needs to be so he's got a arbor vita here i'm not sure looks like this is a a, a rose bush that's practically dead and the other stuff in there i don't think it's supposed to be there i'm not i'm really not sure what this is okay that's a butterfly bush it's uh way overgrown these are some knockout roses that are uh getting about eight feet tall so i'm going to cut this back now let me say this this is a uh, springtime very beginning of spring ideally i would have done this earlier in the year we wouldn't be cutting off some of the rose bushes and things like that right before they bloom. But let's let's be honest. If if you're gonna prune your uh, shrubs back once every five years, I'm not sure it really matters the time of year. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I hate to cut off some of these azaleas right before they bloom, but this is the time we um, were able to get over here and do it. So we got some encore azaleas, we got gardenia here, and uh, azaleas and. Arborvita, that one looks great. And then some kind of irises and, and bulb type plants. So we're gonna get it cleaned up. We've got some situations here with some, some trees growing up in here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to dig those up or not. And we're gonna hack all this back, try to get rid of all the the, the trees growing up in, in the in there if we can and uh, and then get some fresh mulch and see if we can really transform it so these roses are going to be cut way back it's going to take them a while to bounce back but we just got to get under control because knockout roses at, at eight nine feet tall is not ideal gonna use the hedge trimmers but I ended up switching over and using a pole saw because some of it's so big those knockout roses I don't know if they're gonna come back or not they were so overgrown it's just at the base I, I think they will I think they'll bounce back but sometimes they get so overgrown it might even be easier just to replace them but we'll see how they do now that I've got some of the big stuff out of the way I'm gonna switch back and put the hedge trimmers back on yet but we're just uh, hacking back these azaleas hacking back the gardenias that gardenia had kind of grown into the azalea so the shape of it's terrible there's all kind of these big trees and growing up in here i don't know if i'm gonna be able to dig those up or if i'm just gonna have to cut them off the ground uh, but we're going to get some fresh mulch here 
and doing the best I can to get some shape to it. Again, I don't know if this knockout rose is going to bounce back or not, it, but uh, it was just so overgrown. It wasn't much to do with it to, to keep it looking good. You see where the vine's kind of growing up on the house. Try to get that cleaned off. Got to haul off this debris from uh, the, the cuttings that knockout rose basically did. So there's not going to be much plants in this area. This just needs to be cleaned out, looks like. Fortunately, those trees growing in there are pulling up pretty easy, so that's great.
lives like that. My neighbor. Oh, my. Right there when you turn into my house, the yellow house. It's right now. His name's Mike. He got there in the morning. He left about 7.30. He was working. He got home about 7.30 that night. He's still out oh, there working. Oh, that's my plan after I retire. My plan has got me got Yeah. Changed up. That's why I kept telling you.
Well, I'm not sure we're going to win any first place awards, but hopefully we can at least get most improved. You see, the mulch, uh, what I was spraying was some a product that's going to help keep the weeds from coming back for a while. We'll see if those roses bounce back. I feel pretty confident that um, that the butterfly bush will come back. The arborvitas, they look, they look good. The azaleas, the shape of them is not great you know just trying to separate them a little bit the gardenia is just kind of overgrown so you know we could reshape them later after they finish blooming again i hate to trim them right before they bloom i think they'll still have some blooms just trying to get some sense of order back in here and the mulch of course gives it some, some color and also help help the shrubs and help keep some weeds out along with what i spray so I really appreciate you watching the video. This is a brand new channel. I've been on YouTube for about 11 years, but I've got a brand new channel going. So I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Help me get going on my new channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of um, big time makeovers on properties and seeing what we can transform. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.